Strangers in Rotterdam with Sarah Driver. This festival rocks. This is the coolest theater we've ever screened in in our lives. Just in the in garages and on the streets and like in a convention center. This is, this is legit. I mean, have you seen the exit sign? There's people up there too? <laughs> and there's where Lincoln was shot? I mean, take a look at the exit signs. Yeah, the exit signs. We were here last night, and we, I didn't think there was any way it could go any better, too. We watched the films last night, and tonight there's beer, too? So we were wrong about that. And look at this! <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay. Guys, let's start at the beginning. How did you hear this story, and how did you look into becoming involved with this? Um, so, uh, we made a film in uh, like 2017 when I was in high school, and Louis was in college, and it was about um, one of his professors used to fly to Toronto to smuggle cigarettes. And her name was Christine Choi. Yeah, if she did the math, six cartons at the duty-free station of uh, cigarettes equal how much it cost to buy them on the street in New York City. So she would fly to Toronto in one day and come back in the same day, just with a ton of cigarettes. And like, this was Sarah Driver's boss at one point, and then Sarah Driver spoke to like this amphitheater that we were a part of one day, and she was briefed like who was in the amphitheater, and she read Christine Choi's name, and yeah. she, we went to this like, it was like this filmmaker's thing. She, she talked to like a whole group of kids, and at the end of the thing, she was like, is Louie and Noah Closser here? And like, yeah, yeah. And she I was, thought it was like I lost my ID in the lobby or something. <laughs> <laughs> but she was like, your light's on. And, you know, anyway, and she wanted to see the film, and then we emailed it to her. Oh, yeah. She's like, how do you know Christine Children? We're like, we the film about her. I was her student at NYU. We both live in New York. We're brothers, too, by the way. I don't know if that was clear. And then um, <laughs> she saw the film. Yeah, she saw the film. And, she kind of integrated us. We kind of stalked her for a while. And she eventually like integrated us into the fold, and then we eventually approached her with, uh, and I, like, we want to make a movie about you. Do you have any crazy stories? <laughs> and she delivered, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> she delivered a crazy oh, story. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, she's, yeah, she's crazy. Okay. Um, so where, where did the idea of the, the puppetry Oh, that's just how it feels to be in our industry. You just you get kind of pulled around in directions, and you don't even know where you're going sometimes. So we thought it would be funny. Our other animation is really interesting. The level of detail of the tiny little pizza boxes and the and the, and the little cigarette uh, airplane flying across the sky. How long did it come? How long did it take you to kind of come up with this? How much work did it take you guys? Was it Emily the other person who was involved yeah. with this? Emily made the pizza boxes. I'm not okay. going to take the credit for those. <laughs> Emily would do all like the mini, mini miniatures. So she did like a little wine bottle, and uh, mm -hmm. and she also did a lot of tests too. But she she would focus. I, we couldn't do the little yeah. stuff. She, uh, but anyway, this took four months yeah. while we were working just two days a week on it because we had to like. We, didn't, we haven't made money yet off this thing. Hopefully that'll change. But uh, <laughs> we need to like make money in the meantime, so we like work the other, you know, Hugo Boss job. You pay so well. They paid the rent. How many jobs have you had to finance just so you go on the circuit, the uh, festival circuit? Hugo Boss pays so well. If you want to do the job with Hugo Boss, um, we've done probably like three. But yeah, we also do like animation for like feature film documentaries. You know, like some like music docs sometimes need like little animation. Our cinematographer who shot this, we animated the B-roll for his feature length documentary, and that played at Sundance this year with us. So we had like. Two he and I, I don't know, all of us had like two things in science today. And our film won an award, this one. And then his feature film like won the 
It was like the best fucking film of the year. That, it is the best award you can get. It's called Exiles. The, the Exiles. And that movie's about Christine Choi, who smuggled the cigarettes. It's like crazy. It's like. <laughs> so as everything comes full circle with the cigarettes. <laughs> so, so what are you planning for like future projects coming? Um, can, can I just interrupt? <laughs> to Greece where we did an international premiere of this thing in Greece and they showed all of our work all we've done like six other th little thingies and well I had commented after a screening how cool it was how they had ashtrays on every table and then people would come and change them out and then like refresh them and stuff and yet we're not even big smokers we just thought it was cool you know, I had a cigarette before dinner and they grabbed and took it when they brought the food and I was like oh no, no I'm, I'm not doing it he's like I'm bringing you a new <laughs> we're refreshing it. And then, um, mentioned that on stage, and then after the, the whole screening and everything, we got, we got, uh, we got attacked in Greek. And then, our, like, the translator, yeah, this lady, woman runs up to us screaming in Greek, and she said, the only thing in English she says, is, when will you make a film not about cigarettes? <laughs> Funding or you know, what lengths they go to to make their first film, and it, it, it's you have to jump through so many hoops and ask. Yeah, I mean, it's like a heist. It's like I mean, it's like a heist film. It's crazy. <laughs> this will be episode one, and then we plan on interviewing more filmmakers, making it into a series. So um, I don't even think I've even projected this big before. <laughs> Minneapolis, we live in New York now, it's so good to be back in Twins territory, we're so, I'm with Carlos Correa, he never cheated if you ask me.